Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this eye look right here. I had a request to do a reddish eye look, so I chose to go in this direction with more of a fall feel because you guys know I am so obsessed with this time of year. I chose to go dark and vampy with the lip. If you guys are interested in learning how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's just jump right in. I did already prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and set them with a the powder so that we can start with a nice, even, smooth base to apply our shadows. I'm gonna grab this Modern Renaissance palette. I was so upset when I got black eyeshadow all over this palette because it is that velvety feel and so you cannot get it out. So it looks terrible, but it still works just as nicely. First go in with the M518 from Morphe. It's just a blending brush. You guys see me use these brushes all the time. And I'm gonna go into the Modern Renaissance palette and grab Golden Ochre. And I'm gonna just buff that into my crease and use this as my transition shade. I love this Modern Renaissance palette so much. Those are beautiful for the fall. I love the maroons and the oranges that are in this palette. And now I'm gonna take this shade Raw Sienna, which is just a little darker. I'm gonna use the same blending brush and just deepen up that crease. The shadows in the Modern Renaissance palette just blend so nicely. So now I'm gonna take my Morphe M513 and this is a little smaller of a blending brush. I promise I clean my brushes. These are just so like harshly used that I can't get the color out of them anymore. But I'm gonna go into the shade Red Ochre, which is this shade right here in the palette. We're gonna keep that below that initial transition shade and keep this a little towards the outer edge of the eye into that V. And then once the majority of that pigment is off your brush, you can start blending inward, but make sure not to go above that initial, those initial two colors. Now I'm gonna dive into this Venetian Red, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to take that and throw that right on top of the shade that we just used. And I just wanna make that a little, I wanna make it stand out a little bit more. This Venetian Red is beautiful. Guys, if you don't have the Modern Renaissance palette, I really recommend it. I know Anastasia has been through the ringer with the Subculture palette this year, but I love this Modern Renaissance. I think it is so stunning, so easy to work with. I'm just gonna go into that shade Love Letter, and we're gonna take that and just dust across the entire lid. I'm gonna take now my Morphe M441 and I'm gonna go into this shade Realgar and I'm going to, I'm gonna buff that up on the edges of the these reds and just kind of bring a, the eye a little bit more to life. I love adding oranges and reds together. I think that it's so beautiful, especially for the fall. And now I'm gonna go back in with that original brush that we had golden ochre on, and I'm going to just blend out those edges. You definitely don't want any harsh lines when you do eyes. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Cypress Umber here. It's a deep bra chocolatey brown, and we're going to just concentrate that out here. And then go back in with that Morphe M513 brush and go into, I'm going to mix the Venetian Red and Love Letter together just to bring that red back into the eye. I'm going to just take a, any flat shadow brush. I'm just using one from Morphe and I'm going to spray it with some MAC Fix Plus. Go into that Primavera shade. And just pack this right on the inner portion of the eye. I think gold goes so well with red colors. Now we're going to take that E17 brush from Morphe and I'm going to dip that into Love Letter. 
and just blend out these edges between the gold and the red. And one last time, I just want to go into Golden Ochre and Raw Sienna and just blend out those edges all the way across. Okay guys, so this is what the eyes look so far. I'm going to throw some Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Black right up against my lash line. Okay, so my face is applied. I just didn't apply my lips yet or finish out my eye, so let's get to it. So I'm gonna first take my Morphe M432. Any definer brush will use. I just always use this one. And I'm gonna go into Cypress Umber, which is that chocolatey brown that we use. I'm gonna just take this and tight line the bottom lash line right up against my waterline. And I didn't do a wing liner, but I do like to connect my bottom my bottom shadows to my top and I just think it makes the whole look come together so nicely. And then I'm going to take my Morphe E36 and I'm going to go into Love Letter and Venetian Red both. Blend out the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in, to, in with my Morphe M213. This is just a really small shadow brush and I'm going to go into that Primavera, the gold shade that we used, and I'm going to take it on my inner tear duct. Also, I'm going to highlight the brow with this. Like I said, I just think gold looks so beautiful with these um, with these reddish maroon burgundy shades that we're using. So the next product I'm going to use, I never used before, so I'm just hoping it works out. This is the Scandalized Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Coal Liner in the shade Brown. So I'm hoping that this does the trick. I'm going to go in and I'm not going to use lashes today. I very seldomly use false lashes. I like to go natural and I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. And now I like to layer the Rimmel London Lash Accelerator Mascara on top and I like to use the one that looks like this. I always go in with more than one mascara all the time. It's just something that I've always done. Hey guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I loved filming it for you guys because I am so excited for the fall. And so every time I get a chance to play with dark vampy colors, I am in my happy place. I'm like the basic girl who this is my favorite time of year. I love everything about it. I love the flavors. I love the atmosphere. I love the weather. I love the colors. So I had so much fun doing this for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And also if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday and enjoy some college football. I know I'm about to go with my family and enjoy Notre Dame and then Penn State. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.